Hi, I'm Mark from easylawnmowing.co.uk and this is the Cobra RM43 SP ATV self-propelled cordless lawnmower. In this review, we're gonna take a look at its features and functions. We're gonna test it out on my lawn here and we're gonna see how well it performs. By the end of this review, you'll know whether this is the right self-propelled cordless lawnmower for you and your lawn. So before we take a closer look at this self-propelled cordless uh, lawnmower from Cobra, we need to get it unboxed. So let's do that now. Let's see what comes supplied with the mower. Then we'll do the assembly and then we'll take the mower out and see how well it performs on my lawn. So that's our Cobra mower unbox. So what do you actually get supplied uh, in the box with this, this self-propelled cordless lawnmower? So as I said, this is the Cobra uh, 43 centimeter deck size, that's 17 inches. Um, so naturally you get the mower itself, you get two chargers uh, to charge the two batteries. So this will take two batteries at the same time to make up the 80 volts. So these are 40 volt each. These are fast chargers as well. So there's two fast chargers there. And these are five amp hour batteries. And these are gonna give you around a 50 minute run time and that's a no load run time. So uh, we're gonna be testing it here on my lawn which is 500 meters squared and we're gonna be seeing how well uh, these batteries last and whether I can actually cut the lawn in one go. I will say that my lawn is very long. It's been left, it's uh, late April. We've also had a, uh, a dew on the grass this morning so it's quite damp as well. So it's gonna be a really good test to see how well this mower and these battery, this battery pack uh, performs. You also get the grass collection box. This is a 50 litre grass collection box. This is my favorite design. So you've got the hard base here, hard base on top, but you've got the mesh sides here. So having these mesh sides really help with the circulation. It really helps with the, the pickup of the grass as well. So, and the, having the hard top stops all of the grass being flown up into the into the operator's face especially if the grass is really dry you've also got the full flap on the top here so naturally when that's down when that's staying down you know that the grass box needs to be emptied you also get the user manual for the battery and also for the mower you've also got the safety uh, key here uh, which disables the mower once this is removed and that's pretty much it so that's what you get in the box so now we need to get it assembled let's do that now let's see how easy that is so we're now gonna get this uh, mower assembled. So what I've done is I've got the batteries on charge. So the batteries come part charged, so you do need to fully charge them before you start using the mower. So the two batteries are on charge on those fast chargers. And for the assembly, you are going to need a 13 mil spanner as well, just to do these uh, nuts up here. So, okay, let's get this uh, put together. It would be handy to have an extra pair of hands as with any lawn mower, but I'm gonna try and do this on my own. Um, and so the first thing to do, the first thing that you'll notice is that there's some protective caps on. They just need to be removed. They're just for transit, just to stop the ends getting scuffed in the packaging. And you've got the same here on the end of these bars. I'm just gonna take those off. Like so. Okay, and they're the first thing that needs to go on. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way. So, and then I'll get my nuts and bolts ready. Let's get a couple of these undone. Okay, so. Okay, so these bolts, they come from the inside out. So you just line up the holes, like so. And then the flat washer goes on first, then the, uh, the split washer goes on next, and then the nut screws on. So I'm just gonna do that hand tie for now. I'm gonna come over to the other side and just do the same here. Well, inside out, flat washer on first, and the split washer on. And then the nut on like so. Okay. 
So that's our nuts and bolts, four nuts and bolts in on these lower bars. So what we now need to do is just use our 13 mil spanner to get these locked off and tightened, tightened up. So we're just gonna do that now. Like so, so they're nice and secure. Now all we need to do is get the upper bars on uh, next. Let's just make sure we've got that the right way around with the button, the, the battery gauge there, and that the wires here are on the insides. And then what we'll do is just take this plastic nut off here, like so, take the bolt out. And you'll notice that there is a little bit of a plastic washer that goes right through. So I'm trying to keep that in. Okay, so I'm bringing that up. This is where you could do with an extra pair of hands. But you can do it on your own. And then just push that through, like so. Okay, and that's one done. I'm just gonna leave that a little bit loose for now while I go over to the other side and do this one. That's it, then you can just tighten those off, like so. Okay, and then just to keep these cables tidy, there's a couple of plastic clips here, which you can use just to clip onto the bars, like so. Okay, and that's it as, as far as the lawnmower is concerned. So that's assembled and that's ready to go. So all we need to do now is just to do a little bit of assembly on the grass collection box. There's really not much, but I'm just gonna show you that now. So with regard to the grass collection box, what's really nice about this Cobra, there's not much uh, assembly to do on, on this collection box. Some of the mowers that I have tested, uh, you can spend an hour or more trying to get the grass collection box assembled, but this is really, really straightforward. It is pretty much pre-assembled. So again, like on the mower, you've got some protective caps on there, which just need to be removed. And then all really you need to do is it's just this piece here that needs to clip onto this bar. So all you do is you just pull that round like so. And that just pulls the, the cloth part of the bag nice and tight. And that pretty much is it. So that grass collection box is now ready to go. So that's our mower assembled. So before we take it out and we test this mower on, on the lawn, I just wanted to go over the specifications of this uh, self-propelled cordless mower from Cobra. So the model number is the RM43SP80V. So what does that model number actually mean? So the RM means it's a, it's a mower, it's a, a mower that has a roller. This has a dedicated rear roller. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna give some really nice defined stripes on my lawn. This is the first mower that I've tested that has a dedicated rear roller. So I'm really keen to see how well that works. So the RM part of the model number means this has a rear roller. If you go for a Cobra model that doesn't have a rear roller, it has the four wheels, that's their MX range. So this is the RM range, the rear roller. The 43 dictates the size of the deck. So this is a 43 centimeter deck or 17 inches. The SP means that it's self-propelled. Remember, this is a self-propelled cordless mower as well. And the ATV means that it's 80 volts. So the motor on this mower is 80 volts. So what you have is you have your two five amp hour batteries here. Each one is 40 volts. So they'll operate together at 80 volts. So that's gonna give you a five amp hour at 80 volts. So we should be getting around a 45 minute runtime out of these two batteries. Uh, that is a no load runtime, so I'm estimating probably around 30 minutes on my lawn because it is particularly long. Uh, so I'm hoping that 30 minutes is going to cut my entire lawn and I'm sure it, it will, but we're, we're going to test that uh, in a moment. So let's have a little uh, closer look now at the actual mower itself. So I'm going to start at the top here. So you have two levers, you have your operator presence control lever. You also have your self-propelled drive engagement here. Um, moving down onto uh, the handlebars here. So you've actually got a nice padded handle there, which is really nice. And this, this gives me the feel of a petrol mower. So having this bar running across the top is really nice. It's great for going around both left and right hand turns. So that's a really nice touch. 
uh, it's really got a petrol mower feel, this mower to it, at first impression. So coming down here, we've got a gauge on the handlebars here. So this cover actually covers the battery, so you can't see the batteries when they're in. So this is really handy. You press a button here and you can see how much charge you have left in your batteries. I really, really like that. That's a really good touch. Coming further down, you've got these two quick release uh, bolts here, nuts and bolts, which allow you to fold the handles down. Moving down here, you can see that the lower part of the bars is actually screwed to the deck. So you're not going to be able to fold the bars here at this lower point. So it is just gonna fold here and we'll, I'll show you that later, how much uh, space that actually saves. So while we're at this end of the mower, we've got the grass collection box. As I mentioned earlier, I really like these hybrid boxes. They're really, really good in terms of circulation. The mesh sides, good for circulation. The, the hard top, as I said earlier, stops all that dust and debris being flown up into the operator's face. And you have your grass fall flap there on the box as well. So that's a 50 liters, that's a good size. So moving down, this is where your batteries are gonna go. You've got two batteries here, and you've also got a slot here for your safety key to go in as well. So if we turn the mower over, we can have a look under start. Actually, before we do that, let's talk a little bit about the, the height adjustment. So I can see here, there's a lovely lever here for the height adjustment, and you've got six height adjustments here from 75 mil down to 17 mil. So I know a lot of you out there are gonna be really pleased to hear that this has a 17 mil low cut. So for those of you that like a lovely, close bowling green finish to your lawn, then this is probably gonna be the mower for you. So that's really a really good feature there. And we'll see how easy that is to adjust. Well, actually you can see there how easy that is to adjust. That's really, really nice. And that locks in really good as well. And what we will be doing when we test it out on the lawn, We'll be bumping the mower a little bit just to make sure that that doesn't bump out because some mowers that i have tested you hit a bump this jumps out it goes down to the lower setting and it scalps the lawn so we're going to make sure that that locks in and it stays in when we go over any bumps okay so let's get the mower turned over so that we can have a look underneath the deck okay so if we have a look underneath you can see here as i mentioned earlier we've got uh, a good 43 centimeter size deck here um, and that's gonna be perfect for my 450, 500 meter square lawn. That's a really, really good size. There is a 51 centimeter version of this mower. It's pretty much identical. Um, the only difference is it has a slightly larger grass collection box and naturally the slightly larger um, deck size of uh, 51 centimeters. And that mower is actually going to give you a slightly less of a run time but naturally because it has a larger deck, you're gonna cover more area and that's gonna be designed for larger lawns. Anything over 500 square meters, maybe you want to consider the, the larger mower, the, the 51 centimeter. The only other difference that 51 centimeter model has is it has a metal roller on the back. This has a plastic roller um, and that pretty much is it, the, the difference between them. If you have a smaller lawn and you want a smaller model, there is a 41 centimeter deck uh, which has the rear roller so um, that but that's not self-propelled so if you are looking for a self-propelled model you've got this one the 41 uh, sorry the 43 and the 51 model to choose from if you want that self-propelled so if you notice here on this deck you have uh, some fans here I always like to see that on a deck because what this does is it helps to improve the circulation underneath that deck so you know that this mower is, is going to pick up well and naturally we'll be testing that later to see how well this picks up but that's really nice to see that you've got this fan system here which creates a much more of the circulation and picks up the grass cuttings really well so the, the thing about this mower is the, the the roller at the back the full dedicated roller and i'm hoping to see that this really stripes my lawn really well okay i think that's pretty much it in terms of the specification of this mower. So now let's go out and let's see how well this performs. Okay, so that's the specification of this Cobra mower. So we've now come out onto my lawn. And as I said earlier, this is around 480 square meters. It's perfect for this 43 centimeter deck. So as I said, the batteries are now fully charged. You know they're fully charged. Uh, if you press the button on the battery, you can see all, all the green lights light up there. So all four lights are, are lit. So that's a fully charged battery. We've got two fully charged batteries there. Once they're in the machine, as I mentioned earlier, you can check the, the power of the battery on the handlebars here, so that's a really nice touch. So to put the batteries in, really straightforward, lift the lid and just simply slide them in 
and lock them in like so and then what I'm going to do is just turn the key to the on position and now that's ready to go okay let's see how well it cuts but just before we do that I just wanted to explain to you a little bit about my lawn here it's not in the best condition we're at the end of April um, so there's parts of the grass which are over 100 mil long there's other parts of the grass which are about grass that are about 40 uh, mil long so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to set this on the lowest setting because of those longer patches so I think I'm going to cut this at around 40 mil so quite low for a first cut you probably wouldn't want to be taking that much off of your lawn in one go remember that one third rule you should only be taking one third of the grass off but just to give this mower a test I'm going to take it down to 40 and then I'm going to go over so what I'm going to do in the front lawn is I'm going to take this down to 17 mil because I know a lot of people ask me can you show me it cutting on the lowest setting because a lot of people like that nice bowling green finish so what I'll do is I'll take the mower out onto the front lawn take it down to 17 mil and we'll test it there and see what kind of result we get okay let's get on let's see how well this performs Okay, so I've done six rows of my lawn here and I'm super impressed with the stripes that it's given. It's done a really good job. So there's six rows done there. This is on setting number three and it really is taking quite a lot off of the grass and it's performing really well. It's not struggling whatsoever and the stripes are amazing. It's doing a really good job. So remember this mower is around 30 kilograms. So you're getting the weight uh, down on that roller and I think that's what's producing these really, really defined uh, stripes. Okay, so let's get on, let's get the rest of the lawn cut and then I can show you the total results. So I'm always asked uh, when I do lawnmower reviews, how well does it cut really long grass? Now this mower isn't designed to go out and cut a meadow. It's got a rear roller. It's more for um, a well-maintained lawn. However, I am going to do it. I've got some lawn here, which is around uh, 300 plus uh, millimeters, 300, some even 400 mil there. And I'm gonna set this on the highest setting, 75 mil. And we're gonna see how well this motor and this blade cuts through this much longer grass okay let's go let's see how well it does Okay, so we've come out to my front lawn here uh, just to take the, the height down to its lowest setting of 17 mil, just to see what finish that gives. So I'm gonna put that down into the number one position. Okay, and let's see how, that, how well that does. That's my front lawn cut down on the lowest setting here, setting one, which is 17 mil. And I don't know whether you could hear that on the video, but what happened when the going got really tough, the motor in this mower stepped up that power to cut through that more challenging condition. So if you're cutting lower, yes, there is gonna be more of a strain. So it's really nice to know that you've got that extra power that kicks in uh, when the going gets tough. Naturally, that's gonna have more demand on the battery 
uh, on the battery runtime that's going to lower that battery runtime the more when that motor is running faster but let me just say this mower has cut this 500 square meter lawn here in the back it's cut my 150 square meter lawn in the front and that is on a single charge so i'm just going to have a look here okay so we're down to one light so we're down to a quarter battery but that gives you an idea so this is easily going to cut a 600 meter 700 meter lawn in one go on one charge of those batteries so really really impressive Okay, so I think the results speak for themselves. It's done an absolutely fantastic job here on my lawn. Um, really, really great cut, great striping. It's done as well, so I'm super impressed. I think this is now gonna become my go-to lawnmower for my lawn out here at the back because it does leave a really, really fantastic finish. So as always with my reviews, I always like to give you the pros and cons of every mower. So what I'm gonna do is I desperately try to find something negative with this mower. The only thing originally that I could find is the price. So this mower is gonna cost you around 600 pounds. However, when you look at the alternatives for this, remember this is a self-propelled cordless lawn mower, steel deck, that's what you're getting here. So if you try to find a comparison, if you try to find another manufacturer that's offering you that self-propelled model, you're looking at Hater, you're looking at the Hater Harrier um, or the, the Steger. And just for a bare tall model, say for the Hater, you're a thousand pounds, you're up at a thousand pounds. When you start adding the battery in, you're looking at 1,300, 1,400, so more than double what this mower is. So this mower is fantastic value for money. It's a great investment. You could see there with the self-propelled drive, it's a one-handed operation. The speed is perfect. The walking pace is perfect for me. Um, if you're a commercial cutter and you need that speed, no, this isn't going to be for you. For domestic use, it's absolutely perfect. You don't feel like that mower is running away from you. Really, really fantastic. You're getting two 5 amp hour batteries, two 40 volt 5 amp hour batteries supplied with the mower as well. And just for comparison, just so that you know, I've cut my 500 meter square lawn here and it was pretty challenging and pretty long as you could see there and I've just checked the power and we've still got 50% of the power left in these batteries so it's easily able to cope with 500 square meters this is practical um, so this is a real life test so you know you can compare that and decide whether this is the mower for you for your size lawn so remember if you do want a bigger deck this is 43 centimeters 17 inches if you do want a bigger deck you've got the fit the 51 model um, almost identical to this as I explained the few differences before if you want to know the differences between the three different RM models head on over to the easylawnmowing.co.uk website and there's a comparison table there that tells you what the differences are between the models and you can choose the right one for your lawn so all in all fantastic range of cutting heights as I mentioned the steel deck the way the grass cuttings were picked up was fantastic it didn't leave anything on the grass Yes, you need so in terms of safety features, you have, as with all cordless lawn mowers, you have a safety key. If that's removed, the mower can't be started. That's great around children. And also the button, the starter button here can be removed as well. So that pops out and that can be taken away. And again, the mower can't be started. So that's another nice feature on this mower. So all in all, you can see there, I'm super impressed with this mower, just as I was with the the MX41 that I reviewed last year. There's a link in the description below this video to uh, a full review of that lawnmower as well. So there's a whole range of Cobra lawnmowers to suit your own lawn and your requirements. So I hope you found this review useful. If you did, could I please ask that you click that thumbs up button below this video, it'd be much appreciated. And why not click the subscribe button as well so that you get notifications of any future videos that I do. Please, if you have any comments or questions regarding this lawnmower, then please put it in the comments box below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. There's a link in the description also to the smaller brother, the MX model, the MX41 version of this mower without the rear roller. So if you'd like to see a video review of that, there's a link in the description below. Thanks very much for watching this review and I'll see you in the next one.